Hey everybody, Christopher Rod here, and this is Minecraft Story Mode. So, what happens when you take a giant, randomly generated open world that you're pretty much free to do whatever you want in, build whatever you want, your imagination is the limit. And you bring it into Telltale Games and say, let's make something interesting out of this, and let's create a narrative around characters that people have never heard before. Like, what's gonna happen? I don't know. I'm pretty excited, actually. Uh, if you've never heard of Minecraft, well, I'm not sure what rock you've been living under, but it's a giant one. Um, Minecraft is, bl like, it's blown up. Think about where Minecraft began and where Minecraft is now. It's like, it's intimidating, almost. And, uh, I'm, I'm excited for, for me, like, I'm all about a good story, so if I can, uh, really sink my teeth in and get gripped by the story they're presenting here, uh, that's a pretty good sign. So, let's jump into Minecraft story mode, shall we? We get to choose what we look like-ish. Um, I like the suspenders. I'm gonna go with suspender guy. Okay. The Order of the Stone. I'm actually, the most, the thing I'm most excited about is just to hear how they sound. So, uh, let's just go and hope that we hear it right off the bat. Nothing built can last forever, and every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. With each passing year, more and more details are lost, until all that remains are myths, half-truths. To put it simply, lies. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the Far Lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures, unabridged as self-evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes, and ours was fortunate to have, so long ago, four heroes such as these. Gabriel, the warrior, before whose sword all combatants would tremble. Eligard, the redstone engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Soren, the architect, builder of worlds, and leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known <laughs> as the Ender Dragon. Oh, that's cool. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. But when one story ends, another one begins. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens? <laughs> Size zombies. Just to be clear, you wouldn't have any weapons or armor, so you oh, have we'll to just fight step them on them. Hands. That's easy. I'll take the uh, the little tiny little <laughs> zombies. A hundred of them. Crawling all over you. I like us already. Hands. Uh, all I need is like a shovel. I'm telling you, way too easy. Agreed. So I've got a daylight sensor on the roof. Mm -hmm. And if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Ruben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us. Really? <laughs> What kind hey. of question is that? Of course he okay, is. Well, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? No. He kind of makes us look like, I don't know, amateurs. Ruben's my best friend. I thought I was your best friend. Both of you are. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired. Yeah, exactly. I'm tired of being a laughing stock. Who cares what other people think? I know. I'm just. It wears you down. You say you're not a loser, Olivia. 
So win. Okay. Fine. Did you hear that? Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh man. You guys totally freaked out. That was <laughs> Axel, what's the matter with you? Great. Square crotch punch. Now I'm gonna smell like a pig in Endercon. I thought yeah, you we earned were buddies. It. That's what you get, Axel. I brought you good times and now I'm being punished for it. You scared us half to death. Nothing is fun if you're not scared half to death. Did you bring the fireworks? Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's got to wear a what? costume. What is he? <laughs> okay, he's he's good. He looks he pretty looks good, actually. Awesome. It only took me like a million hours to build it. All right, all right. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. Waiting on you guys. If he was really your best friend, you wouldn't let him go outside dressed like that. The only thing more dangerous than putting a costume on a pig is trying to take it off. <laughs> Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. And just like that, we are in control. This is cool. Okay. Gabriel the Warrior. You think we'll ever get that famous? It's not impossible. Maybe I'll get famous for my sweet poster collection. <laughs> if there's things to get famous for, it's uh, definitely sweet posters. Shears definitely taking these. Never know when I might need to shear some sheep. It's funny, like, how epic the adventure was that we started at, and then now it's, like, just regular guys with One of these a days, pig for a pet. One of these we're going to win the Endercon building competition. And when we do, people will look at us and say, Hey, there goes Jesse and Ruben, winners of the Endercon building competition. They really should change the name. I got this stand as a gift, but don't have any armor to put on it. Maybe someday. That's foreshadowing. Give me a dragon roar, Reuben. Oh, yeah. Terrifying. Good job. I'll do, Reuben. That'll do. <laughs> I love that. That'll do, pig. That'll do. I love it. <laughs> That'll do, Reuben. That'll do. Hmm. Flint and steel? Not too shabby. Well, what do you say, Rubes? Let's get out of here. Ruben is such a good name to modify. I'm already, I've already got That's multiple everything. nicknames worked out. Let's roll. Yeah, dude, roll. Let's go. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise not to say anything. Lay it okay. on me. Also, it's in two parts. Each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one, the special guest at this year's Entercon is none other than Gabriel the warrior him freaking self. Whoa, what's part two? Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition is gonna get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose, but if we win, oh man, this would make up for all the losing. Meeting Gabriel would be a dream and an honor. Totally. He's awesome. It'd be amazing to meet him. Reuben better be careful in that costume. The last time Gabriel saw a dragon, <laughs> it didn't end well. Yeah. The Rubester probably confused so, him for sure. does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? Oh, nice. Yeah, my, uh, source, uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year we've got Reuben with us. We basically have no chance. Come on. Anything can happen. Anything can happen, Olivia. Then why have we lost nine of these in a row? You can't, no, you can't look at this as a whole. The odds are refreshed each time. <laughs> Whatever we Maybe gotta tell no them to make ourselves feel up. better. Now you're being realistic. <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute. 
we're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. We have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay then, so how do we do this? We don't just build something functional. We build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. You might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more <laughs> scared of Endermen than creepers. They both have their moments. Oh. Both pretty scary. Then again, you scared let's the go crap classic. out of us with a creeper today. All right, let's build the creeper. You're going with Axel's idea? What's wrong with my idea? Nothing. It could be totally cool. It Thank is you. cool. <laughs> yeah. I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Well, no wonder you've been losing. Got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing then. We're so prepared. We can't lose. Cannot. Bring it in. <laughs> Dare to prepare on three. No, no, no. Preparing <laughs> is daring. No, that's, that's the same thing. Forget it. A team on three. One, two, three. Team. team. <laughs> There's always one. There's always one guy. Let's collect the hell out of this wood. <laughs> so motivated. There we go. Okay, that's that's impressive. And with Rubinator on top of us. Punch everything. Our abs are already pretty flat. Good thing we brought the shears. <laughs> Training montage complete. I'm in. I like these guys. We know what we're building. We've got all the stuff for it. We are so ready. This year, it's going to be different. I'm not just ready to build. I'm ready to win. Nice pig, losers. Punch him in the throat. Oh, or just ignore him. There's Lucas and the Ocelots. The rivalry continues. Man, they've got matching leather jackets and everything. So cool. Well, well, well. If it isn't the order of the losers. <laughs> Great. <laughs> the fail squad's here. Lucas, get a load of these losers. Let's go, guys. Name, please. Axel. And, These guys uh, are like tunnel you snakes. No, your team name. Team name? We are not ready for this. Well, I'm so ready. I have a suggestion. <laughs> so much for <laughs> losing anonymously. We're the order of the pig. We're the order of the pig. <laughs> really? Is it meant to tie Wait, you guys to don't Ruben, like that? Or are you making fun of me? Oh, okay, Ruben. Hey, order of the pig. You guys are in booth five. See, the thing is, you go in with a weird name, you lower the expectations, and then when they come to judge you, they're like, ah, who are these guys? And then all of a sudden, you just, you dominate, because expectations are low. Who's in booth two? Don't know this man. Hmm. Nope. Well, here's our booth. Is that a freaking beacon? They have a freaking beacon? Freaking beacon? That's stained glass. They aren't just building a beacon. They're building a rainbow beacon. That doesn't seem fair. We're gonna lose. We gotta build confidence. We got this. Who are we kidding? We've got nothing. We've got a mascot. It's true. <laughs> We should probably stop staring at them. Ha ha ha. Look, 
It's the Order of the Losers again. <laughs> good one, Gil. <laughs> yeah, good We're one, looking. Gil. There'll be plenty of time for you all to look at it after it wins and gets shown at Endercon. You're being unpleasant. Maybe not all of you. Endercon doesn't allow outside food or drink. <laughs> I'm talking about your pig. I'm saying he's food. Uh, you really shouldn't mess with Reuben. I do what I want. Besides, what arm can a pig do? You Keep haven't talking, seen Rubenstein in action. Stop wasting your time, Aiden. We've got work to do. Agreed. You're lucky I'm busy. Hey, Jesse. Guys. Hey, Petra. How's the bill going? Only time will tell, but we're optimistic. Hey, Petra. I forgot to thank you for that nether star. Hey, Lucas. Not a problem. You help these tools? For the right price, I'll help anyone. If you need anything, you know where to find me. None of us know where to find you. Exactly. <laughs> no hard feelings, guys. And if you're cool with Petra, you're cool with us. Okay. So why don't we just forget about all this and, you know, make this about how cool our builds are. Yep. May, May the, the best, best team, team win. win. Careful what you wish for. We'll see about that. Ladies and gentlemen, there's our motivation. To the Endercon building competition. The winners of this year's competition will have their build featured at Endercon. The winners will also meet in person Gabriel the Warrior. Ocelot! 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 Whoa, handshake? We don't have a handshake. We'll just make one up. It's gonna be so good. We'll call it the... Uh... We're gonna call it the Redstone Wrap. The Redstone Wrap. Yeah, nailed it. Hmm. We're so good at handshakes. <laughs> and just like that, I'm nervous No again. one will remember that. like that. We can do this. Just stick to the plan and everything uh... will be fine. This year, the Order of the Pig can't lose. Let's do it. Building starts now. The thing is, we're too worried about what everybody else thinks. Okay. Oh, go, 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 go. Jesus. Oh, no. A fireworks dispenser. I'm so scared. You worry about your build, and we'll worry about it. Let's ours. build a clock. Oh, I see. We're going, we're going huge here. This is looking good. And now, the moment of truth. Hit it. Here goes nothing. Oh, that's cool. Oh man, that looks so cool. We'll win this for sure. The creeper was definitely the right way to go. You guys intimidated? Guys, people are looking at us. Good build, man. What? No way. It's just a bunch of dyed wool. Whoops. <laughs> oh no, Ruben's on fire. <laughs> what? Ruben, no, come back. Uh oh. The lava's getting closer. You're gonna ruin the bill. Ruben's going to get lost. We've got to do something. No, but we got to go find Ruben. Is about to go up in flames. We've got to get Ruben. Ah! Oof. We're right behind you. Ah. ah. Now, not only is it a giant creeper, it's a giant creeper on fire. See him anywhere, Reuben. It's like burning creeper. The sun's going down. We gotta find him fast. He could have gone anywhere, and this part of the woods is huge. We stand a better chance of finding him if we split up. If either of you get lost, just use the lights from Endercon to make your way back to town. Got it? Got it. Okay, first rule, never split up. Reuben? There's Prince over there, Where are you? Like. Just give me an oink if you can hear me. Yeah, it's not going to be that easy. Just oink if you can hear me.
Here's the. F well, these are hoof prints. Hmm. Pig tracks. Reuben, I don't want to be out here in the dark. Reuben? Reuben, come here, boy! I hear some pigs. These definitely belong to a pig. No, no, they are pigs. No way Reuben made these on his own. Guess not. Hey, Reuben. I got a carrot for you. Where are you, buddy? Come on, little buddy. Oh, these are definitely Ruben, not Rubens. Are you in there? Stupid pigs. Come on, Rubes. Probably freaked out. Seems like a domesticated pig. Reuben, where are you, buddy? Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Don't kick the chickens. So we've got flint and steel, wooden sword, and a carrot. Reuben, no, not you. Pigs. Hey, all pigs but Reuben, shut up. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's gonna work out well. Okay, let's continue looking here. The odds that we're the one to find, Ruben, are probably Ruben, slim. it's getting scary out here. Smoldering costume? Can you hear me, boy? Oh. Ruben. Ruben. Oh no, you in there, buddy? Okay, he got out of the costume, thankfully. Oh jeez, please don't be toasted, Reuben. No, I think he's out. He's long gone. Whew. Don't need to attract attention to anybody here. Okay, we're just looking at the dark hole. I do not want to just go into it. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! That reaffirms that I definitely do not want to go into Ruben. it. We hear a pig. He seems to be replying to Reuben. Come on, Rubes. Come on. It's pink. It's him. Reuben, there you are. Hey, buddy, you want a carrot? <laughs> it's not his fault. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Uh-oh. Yep, it's go time. Ruben, run! <sighs> I think... I think we're good. No! Nope. We got creepers, go! I think we made it. Jesus. Archers. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Get back! Get back! Stay behind me. I got you. We got you, Rubes. Oh! 
Okay, we've got moves. Something major. Oh, that's no, not good. I don't think it's something. You run, I'll stay back. You're gonna have to make a run for it, okay? I'll meet you back in town, I promise. Go, buddy. Get out of here now! Um, I don't know how we're gonna solve this. Get off me. Come on! Ah. There we go. Come on, let's get out of the open. She's the one that said if we need anything, go and see her. We found her. But I want to show once you again, something. poor little Ruby. Not that this isn't a really cool, dimly lit tunnel, but how far away is this thing you want to show me? Careful, Jesse. You don't want to get a reputation as a wimp. I, I, this isn't my first time in a cave, Petra. Yeah, but have you ever seen a wither skull? Whoa! Fresh from the Nether. You're the first person Which means I showed it to. You went there. So, you'd better appreciate this. You risk your life for that dusty old skull? No, oh, I risk my life for the thing I'm gonna exchange for that dusty old skull. There's this guy I'm meeting up with at Endercon. He's gonna trade me a diamond for it. Being the resident go-getter pays off every once in a while. Is a wither skull worth that much? <laughs> Are you kidding? For all the trouble I had to go to get it, I should be asking for much more. Wow. Wow what? In a single day, you went to the nether, you killed a wither skeleton. I mean, I did build a super cool statue, but still, <laughs> it's pretty sweet being you, huh? You know, you could come with me. I mean, if you're too nervous, I totally get it. But I wouldn't mind a little backup. I'm totally in. You want me to come with you? Consider it my charitable act for the day. I'll consider it whatever you want me to consider it, as long as I get to come. Uh... You just keep a crafting table down here? Comes in handy. Since that wooden sword of yours got busted... You're giving me a new one? Even better, you can make your own. Okay, we're not using one wood. One stick plus two stones equals Never one mind. sword. Just grab what you need. Oh, okay, thanks. Hey, is all this stuff yours? No, we're just stealing from whoever was dumb enough to leave us here. Of course it's mine. Just making <laughs> sure. Oh, here we go. Jackpot. Just okay, the click on, on a crafting table. item to select it. Click again to place it on the table. Come on, Jesse. We don't have all night. Yeah. Recipes. Oh, we got to put. That's right. We got to put them in the right order. Beautiful. See? Isn't it better when you make it yourself? <sighs> Check it out. Endercon's all lit up. Oh man, looks like Lucas and his ocelots won again. Sorry, Jesse. But you've got to admit. That beacon does look pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted this to be the year we finally beat that jerk. You know, Lucas may be kind of arrogant, but he has come through for me in tricky situations. You might want to get to know him, just in case. He's good at building, that's for sure. It's always useful to have a guy like that around, no matter what you might think of him personally. Yeah, you might be right. 
We'll just see. Just saying, if you run into him at Endercon, try talking to him. I don't need a lecture on the power of collaboration, Petra. <laughs> but a lecture on the power of my fists is short, but deadly. Come on, let's hurry. So is Ruben. Remember what Endercon was like before it was cool? Remember what we were like before we were cool? Some of us will never be cool. Ha ha. I hope you have a plan for this. Crap. Let's just jump off. This doesn't look good. Yep, we're going. Well, there's only one way off this bridge. Whatever we do, we do it together. Uh, Come let's on, jump. Katie. All right, let's jump. <laughs> That's so cool. Into the chickens. Ah! Oh! Burns, it burns. Don't you know? You dive into the water, you don't land on top of it. Pull yourself together and follow me. <laughs> Here we go. The adventure begins.